What's up, guys? It's Bo, one of the minor boys. It is Friday, and tonight is preliminary night for the Ultimate Street Stock Challenge Series here at Cherokee Speedway. Tonight, we will do qualifying and heat races, and that's going to set the lineup for 10,000 to win feature, 50 lap feature tomorrow night. But like I had told you, and you probably saw the last video, man, we were junk. Just couldn't find any speed. Couldn't, you know, we thought we might be missing a little bit on a carburetor side on jetting. And so we worked on that and then, you know, went back over scale numbers and said, man, we're off somewhere else. We just don't have any drive in this car. That's where we're getting killed coming off the corner. So came over here today. It's Friday about, probably about 10, 11 o'clock. And we are here at, what do y'all call this place? PV Motorsports? Yes, sir. PV Motorsports. Turbo. Hang on, let me let me turn this thing around and let you see see these guys right quick. Yeah, we're here at uh, PV Motorsports right here with uh, Mr. Blake Pryor, Dalton PV. How you guys doing? Good, good, working. Working? Hanging out. Well, y'all tell me, tell me about this place you got in here. Like, like we were just talking, you said, what, you got about three? We got about three, three businesses in one. Three businesses in one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> TV Motorsport, missile chassis, and complete turbo service. Complete turbo service. Hey, and I tell you what, right down the road, let me tell you all this. What, what, what's this place? What is it? Rev it up nutrition. Hey, your mama just brought us one of these, and let me tell you, that's that is good stuff right there. Is that's it good, good, Rick? That's good. Hey, that's ten horsepower right there. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're gonna get that tonight. But uh, but hey, guys, what what y'all think? They they both run street stocks as well. Dalton is in the nine car, the missile chassis, and Blake, yours is a missile chassis as well. Yes, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. The uh, numbers, in fact, it's right here. So is now is Cherokee y'all's home tracks? Yeah. Uh, one over. Yep. For yeah, the most part. We got about two. We can get Cherokee from here in probably 25, 30 minutes. And then we got Harris Speedway. It's probably 15 minutes down the road. From I'm, here, so. I've run Harris Speedway before. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, four cylinder veteran two won the world crown here one year. So 2013 uh, uh, world crown four cylinder national. Yes, right sir. Here. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what's crazy? I was talking to Shannon Hires earlier today. He said, man, what, uh, he said, you've run here before in a four-cylinder and on. I said, yeah, I've run here a pretty good bit. He said, yeah, they have that big, uh, that big race, you know, four-cylinder national. I said, man, I said, I tell you, I said, I really don't even want to talk about it because I've won about everything for it, but I, I can't seem to win a race at Cherokee. And it just, it drives me. I've run third is the best I've ever finished in that race. And it, it drives me crazy because this, I just want to win a race at this track. I don't care if it's four cars, you know what I mean? Or a foot race. I just want to say I've won here. Yeah, the year I won, I got spun out running fifth, went back to 26th, and we come back and won it. So Heck yeah, it worked, man. It worked out good. That's right. Hey, that's when, uh, that's when they're, they're, they mean something more than when you do that. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. That's it. but yeah, like I said, I can't thank these guys enough. Um, they opened up their shop to us. We came here and spent about, we came here and spent about, I don't know, we've been here about an hour and a half, two hours. We set this thing on scales. Found, we believe knock on wood, found our issue where we're at. We got our numbers back where we ought to be lights out tonight. But we, uh, we about, these boys about to go tell us where to eat a good steak. So I might need to take a little more lead out tonight when I get at the track. Might gain about 10 pounds here in a little bit, but we're heading to the racetrack here in a little bit. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it back to the racetrack. We've uh, got some tire work done. Again, can't thank those guys you just saw, you know, Dalton and Blake enough for their hospitality, for welcoming us in. So can't thank them enough. We thrashed on this thing. I think we got our numbers back where we need to be. I think it's gonna be a whole nother car when we hit the racetrack. I really think it is. We got our original carburetor back on, did a little bit of jet work on it. So I think this thing is gonna, I think we're gonna be in the ballpark now, I'll put it to you that way. But we're back at the racetrack, got my tires done. We just rolled through tech. Uh, they said that we could race, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but we're, uh, we're back at the racetrack. Night, well, I guess officially night two 
of the 10k to win Cherokee race so we are here and we're getting it ready I think we'll probably get a hot lap session and then qualify and then run heats tonight and then that's all for tonight and then tomorrow hopefully we don't have to run B main but we'll we'll see I hope not I hope to make it in where are you going it's going on camera yes it is <laughs> but we're getting ready now we got the car here and i think we're ready to go logan what you think you like this old place Find out here, that's right that's right well he's taking precaution i hope that that ugly old stuff that comes from the sky i hope it don't come down it's not great it's been kind of off and on but i i think we'll be all right you ready rick it's a whole nother car today yeah yep. if it ain't it's you maybe it was me all along i don't know <laughs> we're getting ready to go Down with the drivers meeting 50 street stocks tonight. Whew. Be a heck of a show. Got to be on our game to make it. So we're uh, hot lapping here in just a minute, and then we'll go out for qualifying.
uh, got behind the slow car, couldn't do anything. So times were real bad, but I'm telling you, in the seat, what I could feel out there, I believe we're back in the game. Uh, I, I really do. I'm pretty excited to see how we stack up in this qualifying run. There's 50 cars. They're doing four laps at a time, and we get two laps qualifying. That will set six heat races, 10 laps apiece, taking the top three, locking into the feature. So we're getting ready to go now. Uh, I go out fifth, group A qualifying. First group, I go out fifth. I'll be in the second complete group that's out there. I really think that, you know, I, I think that we'll be okay. So I think that going out earlier is gonna help us tonight too. So. But we're getting ready to qualify now, about to go out. second and the 10th off the pace and I'm I don't know kind of at a loss um, I thought the car handled better I felt like it had more drive I felt like the motor run good um, but I don't know so uh, got one little adjustment I'm making here and gonna see if I can Pick up something in the heat race. We're gonna start, we're gonna be buried in a heat race and only taking three. So we'll, we're gonna see what we can do uh, and just plug away at it. It's all we can do. I apologize to my sponsors because I, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep working on it. And see what we can do. Got any advice for me? Ronnie, got any advice? He said, go fast. Go fast? Hey, we having a good, second heat, we're having a good time. I'm in the second heat, we're about to go. Well, 
Here's the thing. I'm, I feel a lot better now because I know what they, and it, it's gonna sound crazy. Oh, you couldn't feel that and all. Well, I was by myself all weekend running. I was never around another car. And I, I knew handling, we were pretty close. And I just, I said, man, it can't be this. I said, we got something else going on. Well, we're down on power on this engine and I don't know what's going on. I don't believe it's the, I think the engine, the com I know the components in the engine, it's everything that you could want for it. I, I don't believe that it's a bad engine, anything like that. I think that we've got, we've either got a fuel issue or a fire issue going on. And I, I haven't tore it down yet. We just got done, it's 11 o'clock at night. We're all beat, but we're gonna get here early in the morning. We're gonna tear this thing apart and we're gonna check fire and fuel. I'm wondering if maybe a fuel pump's going out, something like that. Uh, you know, crazier stuff has happened. So, but at least now we know where our issue is. Uh, I know it sounds, people are gonna come on here and say, oh, that's dumb. That's not a driver that can't feel it and all. And I, I understand that, but it's, you know, it's just one of those things. So, but we're gonna get here in the morning. We're gonna figure out what's going on and talk to the to the guys with the engine, the old men. And like I said, I'm my fate's 100% backed in them. They're backed on me, you know. So it's and proof's in the pudding. We've ran good with their engines from day one. So you know, it's we've got something going on. Fuel or fire. It is is my thoughts on it we got a fuel or fire issue going on we just have to pinpoint it find out where we're at and then go from there so uh, i hate i don't have good content i hate that i hadn't run good this year it's eating me up i stay up at night thinking about it because i can't i don't know i, I i'm a very competitive person um not stupid but i mean i just like to be in the game you know and right now i'm not i'm not in the game so we're uh we're not gonna quit um that's one thing about it we're not gonna not gonna quit now we know our issue 100 percent where we're at so we're just gonna go to work you know can't quit can't quit on anything so we're gonna go to work find out what's going on and if tomorrow you know we can get the issue fixed feel like we can come through a b main i might be totally wrong but i'm gonna try but if not, we can at least try to pinpoint our issue and get some good test laps to get ready for the rest of the year. So uh, this weekend has kind of sucked, but you know, <laughs> like I said, we, uh, we ain't gonna quit. We're gonna keep plugging away, see what we can find out, see what's going on, and then we'll go from there. So we will be back at Cherokee on Saturday for feature racing. Like I said, we're gonna get here early tear everything down see what we got going on and then go from there again thank y'all so much for watching um you know I, I know it's been a rough go of things but thank y'all for watching thanks to all my sponsors uh chris club race engine strength racing technologies thank you guys man y'all are awesome we're gonna get it right we're gonna go win some races i'm telling you I'm telling you i ain't giving up on it they're not giving up on me we're gonna get it guys so it's just small small bump in the road so we're gonna go to work that's all there is to it we gotta go to work see when we can come out and we're gonna take you all along with us i'm glad to be back in a race car even if it is not finishing and running last i'm just glad to be back at the racetrack glad to be back behind the wheel so we're here thanks to my beautiful wife for hanging out all weekend it's been a long weekend already thanks to dad i know he's tired at least he's getting taco bell tonight what you think taco hell <laughs> I get i've been seeing a grilled steak what do they call it? grilled cheese steak burrito yeah we're gonna try it well that's where we're eating tonight so 11 o'clock is about all we got so we're gonna get this thing buttoned up and we'll be back early in the morning find out what's going on and we will go from there thank y'all for sticking with us i know it's been a rough go of things as of late but thank y'all for sticking with us and we will see y'all tomorrow y'all like subscribe leave a comment let's go